Hey guys, this is TechNet with back here. I am going through the ubiquity biospherum of their technology and devices. And we are looking at the USG. This is the basic USG. One thing I didn't go over about the other devices and I wanna show you about on the boxes here that I probably should have talked about is they have holograms to show that they are legitimate ubiquity devices. Cause I'm guessing somewhere somebody is trying to counterfeit these devices. I'm not gonna say who, but it does have holograms and all sorts of stickering and stuff that show you that this is a legitimate unified ubiquity unified device. So this is the USG basic. They have um, two, you no, three USG types. There is the USG pro, and then you have the one that goes up from that. Now I'm going to jump into this and do the unboxing for you guys and go over what comes in the box and do basic overview of the device and stuff like that. Later on, you will see me setting all this stuff up. I'm going to do two setup videos with that. I'm going to do a PFSense setup and a USG setup. So you will see if you have both, you'll, how I will do that. I will not be incorporating the USG and the PFSense right away because this thing is a nightmare to try to set up with the PFSense. Eventually I will come back with a separate video that'll just be for this USG um, in front of the PFSense and bridge mode. So let's break this box open. Wonderful Amazon did a wonderful job of shipping it and not damaging anything. Counterintuitive there, huh? So the first thing you get is a protective little uh, foam thing type of sticker. So the first thing you're going to get, oh, this thing feels cool. I think that's metal. This thing's got some uh, heft to it. It's all metal. So the first thing you're going to see is you're going to have around here, you're going to have a DC 5 volt port. It does have feet. It also has mounting. So if you want to mount this to a wall, so you want to mount it to the wall like that, you can. It has a council port, a WAN, a LAN, and a WAN and, and LAN too. So you could set up dual WANs where you have failover or load balancing. Say you got AT&T and Spectrum or AT&T and Comcast, or say you have Verizon um, 4G service and a cable provider, you could input both of these and get the bandwidth from both. So I'm gonna come down to here what's inside the box. They have the mounting equipment for actually mounting it to the wall. And then you're going to have your power adapter. The only downfall I see about this guy is that it cannot be powered with PoE. I was very saddened to find that out when I was um, labbing this stuff for the video. Uh, everything else you, Ubiquiti has is, you, is PoE, you know, will, will be powered over PoE. This device, you have to plug it in. I don't know if that's because they just didn't put better NICs in here, if they were trying to bring down the cost. I'm not sure. But if they come out with a version two of this guy, I think they should and make it PoE. That would be very smart because it would be in their whole biosphere of devices of sim simplicity and easy use. I get that this is gonna probably be in an area that's gonna have a power plug anyway, so it's not that huge of a deal. But this thing really looks slick. It's cool looking. This, there's, this is real aluminum. This isn't like plastic metal. So it's an actual metal casing. You can feel it, it feels, you know, and then the light around here will tell you, this will actually light up and it'll tell you what the device is doing. Solid blue, it's adopted and configured. White means it has not been adopted, but is ready to be configured. Blinking white is firmware or updating, the software updating. This device is gonna be pretty much your router, your firewall. It has um, like PFSins where it has IP blocking and PF blocker, this has a, a similar thing that blocks PF, you know, uh, IPs and stuff like that. It also has threat scaling. No, not threat scaling. Uh, what is it called? It also has the ability to have threat management and it will actually look for things that are going through the firewall that are threats to you, like being DDoS and all that other stuff. The switches have that with just the cloud key, but to open up a bunch of features actually in the switches, you need to have the USG connected. So that is why there's a lot of people out there. It's, it's a lot of cosmetic stuff versus the, the hardware side and, and stuff like that, especially if you have a PFSense box. It, it's, it's very hard, it's more, more GUI orientated. So you can see like how fast throughput is and all that other stuff that will open up on your device and, and stuff like that. It will, it makes your UI nice and clean and complete. 
Some people are very anal about that. I'm kind of like that where I'm a completionist and I want everything to be available to me. You can run the unified ubiquity stuff without the USG. It is very possible, just like you can do it without the cloud key. Now, are you gonna want to? Probably not. You're probably looking at this, this product line because of the ease of use and simplicity. So really the unified stuff, it, it just makes, it's, it's pretty enterprise. It's not enterprise grade, but it's pretty close. It's, it's small business, medium, large business. It's not total enterprise grade like a lot of the Cisco products are. I have Cisco at my house right now that's running my network and I'm gonna be replacing it with Unified just because the easy use to set up of the mesh Wi-Fi network, um, just the, the GUI, it just makes things so much simpler. And it does kind of complicate things if you wanna do more advanced stuff. If you're more where the guy where you just wanna set up a router and have to go through like five pages and you're done and it's working, that's you know unified. But if you wanna go through page by page by page and configure this, configure that, set up AC, ALC lists and MAC address, you know, access control lists, Cisco is more your, uh, gonna be more your drive. Now I will say there are probably about seven or eight more security features on Cisco than unified, but unified is working every, every month to update their software and add more and more and more and more. So, I, I think that they will be at the same level Cisco is in a couple of years with their software deployment. They are a newer company, so you know Cisco has been around for frickin' ever. You know, they gotta do a little catching up. Now, the other brand that's really cool is the Microtech brand, but I'm not gonna get into that in this video. I have a 10 gigabit Microtech switch, and it is wonderful. You will have to spend four to six weeks of your life researching every day and to figure that darn thing out. It is a nightmare to configure. That is why I've gone with Ubiquity. It is just plug and play, very simple to set up. It is the simple tins version for a, a, a heavier duty network. So guys, this was the Unified USG Security Gateway. This is Tech Network guys, and I'm out. Hey guys, it's Tech Knitwood here. Make sure you guys subscribe and like and hit that bell. Thanks.